Let's go. So, I'm going to give y'all a little inside tea first before I get into this reveal. So, there's been some information that's been coming out recently. First of all, Byron is upset with Shawnee because of, um, you know, Shawnee being one of the executive producers. He's upset with Shawnee about the fact that Shawnee and the other ladies made fun of CC um, on last week's episode, I believe, where they were making fun of the way CC walked. My question to Byron is, have Byron been asleep? They've been making fun of CC. They've been doing stuff, but it's good he finally sees it now, and it's good that he finally sees that the executive producer, the one that's supposed to be, you know, unbiased, and, and, and the one that is supposed to, um, you know, be the one that pull everybody together, and you know, the one that's supposed to be the responsible one, the teacher, the principal, etc. It's just as messy and down low and trashy as the rest of them. Congratulations, Byron. You finally see what we all have seen. And I'm sure that's another reason why he um, uh, prompted to get uh, CC off this damn show. Because it, it truly, truly is a hot mess. It, it really, really is. What else is going on? Uh, we've also seen some recent tweets from our favorite Afro-Latina, Evelyn Lozada. And, um, you know, recent tweets that she did when she was with Chad and all this other kind of stuff. Um, one is, she said to Chad Ochocinco, and I got this from the Impressive Channel. Shouts out to the Impressive Channel. Um, says, uh, wow, you're getting better and better at reading between the lines. I guess they was discussing or having an argument through Twitter. She says, wow, you're getting better and better at reading between the lines. Go sit your blue black ass down and go read a Hill Harper book. Hashtag choices. Mm. Blue black. Mm. Okay. Somebody also asked Evelyn, was she black? And she said, figuratively speaking, no. But on tonight's episode, when OG said that you think you're black, he was just like, oh, I'm a proud Afro-Latina. So does Afro-Latina mean that you're black? And show us the damn receipts. I'm sure, I, I doubt, I doubt you're 30% African. I doubt. So please, you are, Evelyn's probably a mixed race. Um, a Latina woman, and there you go, boom, bam. Then all of a sudden you're Afro Latina when you've just been saying the whole time you're just Puerto Rican and you're this and you're that, blah blah blah. But now you want to put a little nigga in there so that you can uh, get away with some of the crazy shit you've been doing. You've been saying, okay. Beautiful picture of OG here. Lovely, lovely. And what else? I heard that it's a Basketball Wives Dallas that's coming. And uh, Brandy Maxeel might possibly be um, on that. So, I don't know for sure um, if she's going to be on that. You know, if Shawnee got anything to do with it, she won't be. Um, but there's going to apparently be a Basketball Wives Dallas. Now, here's some multi. A girl, Jacqueline Ibule, said this to me. It says... Um, it's a screenshot. It says, "So now that the show will be back for Basketball Wild season nine, apparently the shit is coming back. The producers just have to find two big names around the cast off." Um, says that the current gossip is that Jennifer Williams, who returned to the show two years ago during the Basketball Wives and Basketball Wives LA merger, is um, she's positioned to quit. They're, they're 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 sending her ass on the road. They're sending a Jennifer on the road. She's not going to be on the show allegedly. Uh, let me see. There are also new reports out there from Media Takeout, darling, um, claiming that half the cast will be fired, and the producers are definitely axing newly pregnant star OG, whose aggression is very dangerous, and who has many women feeling uncomfortable in her presence. All y'all bitches, all y'all gangsta hoes, all y'all. LaQuisha Malaysia, Evelyn from the Bronx, 
Phoebe from Brooklyn. All you know, all y'all gangster uh, uh, Shawnee from Inglewood, uh, uh, um, Kristen from New Orleans. All y'all gangster girls. All y'all claim that y'all about that life. Y'all scared of one person, one woman who ain't put her hands on nobody yet. Y'all are funny. Y'all are funny. I wish God would give me some titties and a cooch one day so I can find y'all and ooh. I'll just read them a book, guys. Calm down. I'll just read them a book. I'll just read them a book. That's all I'm going to do. And a head, but. So, anyway. um, Let me see. It says, a pregnant woman attacking her co-workers on camera seems unlike it, unlikely at best. She ain't been pregnant this whole time and she ain't attacked attack not one of them. She's attacked y'all with words and, and, and because she's saying that she's going to take y'all out, y'all scared. But Evelyn been throwing whole wine bottles and, and Malaysia been flipping tables and everything else and it's been no problem. Okay. A pregnant woman attacking her co-workers on camera seems unlikely at best, but there's definitely a fear of OG in a lot of the takes of the show that we've read. As far as cast replacement gossip, it looks like the single biggest wish fans have for Basketball Wild Season 9 is that newbies be actually married to basketball players. I don't give a damn about that. Uh, let me see. The Basketball Wild Season 8 finale airs this Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. Um... So yeah, do we even care anymore about um, these ladies being married on these shows? I don't. Even, it don't matter anymore. It really don't. Um, so I'm assuming it's just gonna be the same old cast, same old Evelyn, same old Shawnee, uh, Jackie, Malaysia, I guess Kristen, and then new girls that they're gonna bully. It looks like OG is gonna be gone. Cece's gonna be gone. Jennifer's gonna be gone. Tammy's gonna be gone. Who else? I don't know about Phoebe. If y'all bring Phoebe back and and take out OG and the rest of them, I'ma know some. I'ma know some. You know, if this show was to come back, I don't know if I'm gonna review it again. I don't know. Um. This show is so toxic. It really, you know, I know we, you know, we all go back and forth and we shade and we have moments and all that. But this show is incredibly toxic. It really is. It kind of brings you down. Um, because it's just so much wrong to it. It's so much wrong. It's so much colorism. It's, it's so much, um, people abusing their power. Um, it's so much hypocrisy. It's so much favoritism. It's so much bullying. Um, and then a lot of that, I don't know about y'all, but a lot of that really does affect you because it brings it. It, it um, is almost a reflection upon your own li your own life if you've dealt with that. I've I've dealt with, with people telling me I'm too black. I've I've dealt with you know being because of my size. Um, I, I've dealt with um, you know the whole gay thing is a whole other thing. You know I, I've dealt with with a lot of stuff, racism, all that kind of stuff, bullies in in school. So. Um, it's 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 sad to to see this foolishness on, on TV, um, and the fact that people allow certain behaviors and it's not an issue. Crazy, crazy. I don't know. I really have to sit and think about it. If these same tired ass women come back, and and the fan faves are are not back, like like OG, you know, and we started to love CC, you know. I don't know. I don't know. We're seeing next week. We saw scenes the next week um, that um, OG is actually like escorted out. And CC and OG and Jackie are talking. And um, CC told the people, was just like, look, if, if we can't sit on stage with everybody else, we don't want to do it, period. And, you know, I saw Mark Lamont Hill, who I don't trust. I think that he's a brilliant man in terms of him, everything he's accomplished and him being incredibly smart and incredibly woke, but I, I don't trust him to handle this whole colorism topic at the reunion if it's brought up. I don't trust black men because it's black men like him, not saying I don't know his type, I don't know who he's dated, whatever. 
but it's black men like him. I'm just going to use him as an example. I don't know the truth, whatever. It's black men like him that allow women like Evelyn to do the shit that they do. To disrespect black women, in particular dark-skinned black women. To use the word nigga and not say nothing. To use monkey emojis. And, and it's not a problem because you happy to be with somebody that look like her because you secretly hate your damn self. So I don't know if his woke ass is woke enough to tell the truth or to stick up for OG properly. Because nobody sticks up for black women. Ever. But I'm here. I'm doing my part. Now I read y'all if, if necessary. If necessary I will. That's my right as an American. But most of the time I got y'all back. Especially in this situation. I've never liked Evelyn day one. I gave her one episode. I hated her. Okay. And I say all the time. When I say that I hate people. Or dislike people. I'm strictly talking about them on the show. The character they portrayed on the show. We know this is only a small part of who they are. Blah 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 blah. But I think we're pretty clear on who Evelyn is at this point. Even though we've only seen her on the show. We're pretty clear this is who she is. Okay? This is supposed to be reality, correct? Okay, it's pretty sure that Evelyn is a trash box. And a hooker mixed with a whore. And values, it only has value. And only has self-esteem when she laying up under some nigga. We know that. Okay, let's get started. Y'all, I know. I'm just mad. I'm, I'm irritated. The show, the show, the show. Okay. Let me see. So, leaving off where it left off last week, child. Um, we have uh, the ladies. They are now separated. Kind of went off to their own quarters. We have OG, CC, and Jackie. They are walking off. OG's pissed. Rightfully so. OG's upset. Rightfully so. OG going off. I'm sick of them bitches. And, you know, I'm, I'm tired. She's just tired of the hypocrisy. She's tired of how everything that kind of flipped on OG. When OG, and this is coming from her her football experience, she saw Evelyn parading around like a damn snake waiting to strike. She saw Evelyn on the sidelines waiting to to um, run up and, and tackle that girl when when she got the ball. Meaning Cece, she saw that she saw that shit. So she went on ahead and and tried to block. She tried to um, guard the perimeter because you weren't about to get into the area. Come on, come on, graphs. Come on, what is that geometry? Come on, geometry. Come on, um, what's another one? Perimeter area. What's another one? Y'all know geometry. <laughs> so, um, I used to be good at geometry. I sucked at algebra, but anyway. So she saw that and, and she wasn't going to let nobody touch CC. Now, even though I'm fully for that, there's also a part of me. I feel like now, I feel like now CC is is um, fully team OG and she will fully have her back in, in, in the moment. If it really came down to it, I feel that way now. But in the past, um, I didn't really care for, for OG uh, coming for CC so hard because it, I was unsure whether CC was going to come for was going to protect OG the same way OG would protect her, and and black women are so loyal and um, it's so ride or die sometimes for other races of women, and a lot of times it's unsure whether those other women will have the sisters back the way that the sisters have their back. Y'all know what I'm saying? But I think it's pretty clear now that CC and OG, they're a team. Um, and so hopefully it stays that way. But anyway, uh, so they was going back and forth. And now all of a sudden, all the ladies, they done flipped it. Now all of a sudden, everything is, is OG's fault. Now all of a sudden, Kristen and CC couldn't solve their issues because of OG. Evelyn... And, and CC couldn't solve their issues because of OG. Are you that stupid, Shawnee? I'm so sick of you and your nostrils. I'm getting ready to take a flu shot soon just for you, Shawnee. 
Because I don't want to be congested. I know you congested. I'm so sick of you. Are you really that dumb? Did you not? Uh, did did Evelyn run up behind CC to give that bitch a donut? Are you serious? And I uh, found out that Evelyn had a bamboo stick in her hand. I didn't even know that. She was going to whack her ass from the back like Kung Fu Panda. Y'all remember Poe them? Poe and Tigress? What's the other one? Hopper? Was it Hopper? Tigress and, and the damn uh, Crane? Master Shifu and them? She was going to Kung Fu Panda her ass. And you was going to let it happen. Shawnee, you want to say shit. And Malaysia, that's your cousin too. Since see all y'all cousins, y'all, they, they both your family members, right? But you was going to let one of your family members get their ass whooped while you sat over here and protected the family member you like. And all y'all grown ass, ridiculous ass people are still upset at the fact that Byron moves on from Thomas's biological mother and went on and air, married uh, Cece. Grow up. Grow up with y'all old asses. Grow up. I wish mommy and daddy get back together. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. Y'all are old as Methuselah. Sitting here uh, uh, crying up under the Christmas tree. Wishing mommy and daddy get back together. Bake your own goddamn cookies. Y'all yeah, not going to get my blood pressure up. It's just not going to happen. Um... Let me see. Oh Lord, the show. Um, let me see. Evelyn, oh she bum rushed me like she was on the football field. She absolutely did. She absolutely did. And when and when your ass was slung in them damn bushes, what actually happened was um, OG grabbed Evelyn's arm. Mind you, they was damn near running at full speed down a hill. So of course somebody was gonna take a tumble. But anyway. OG grabbed Evelyn's arm, pushed her away from Cece. Evelyn lost her foot and she slipped and fell in the bushes. I don't think that OG actually thrown Evelyn in the bushes. No. Evelyn was already running full damn speed like a fucking ostrich running down the street. And, and OG stopped her, slung her around because she was about to hit Cece. She damn near got her. And then her ass lost her foot and it fell in the bushes. Yet you still got up and came out the CC. When when OG was the one that slung you in the bushes, you didn't come at OG with your scary ass. Evelyn from the Bronx. Shut up. Shut up. And I love all my people from New York. Shouts out to my people from New York. Y'all know I love y'all. But I'm just saying, this one right here, I want y'all to um uh uh throw her away somewhere. I'm sick of her. I know y'all sick of her too. That it's it's um, been some um, lovely, beautiful, you know, Puerto Rican people and and you know everybody on my channel. This would just be like they was like Mr. Chalaki, Chase King. Uh, that bitch don't represent me. I said I know this racist. Get her out. They want her out too. Get her off. Get her off TV. Get her off. Okay, let me see. So uh, Kristen and them, you know, they were so exhausted. They wanted a night for fun, and so. All of them went out. Uh, Shawnee's crew. Shawnee, Phoebe, uh, Evelyn, Kristen, Malaysia. Is that everybody? I think so. So they all went out um, and, you know, party with the animals. It was animals running around. I don't party with the animals. I would have stayed at home. That would have been a moment for me to go over to CeCe's dim um, bachelor pad. Because low-key this whole time, I'm sitting here watching, you know, the different... Um, the different activities that was going on between the two houses and Jackie them crew was having more fun anyway all Shawnee them was doing was sitting around talking about Jackie them so I'm just like how was y'all on this trip and, and y'all just as miserable as y'all want to be and all y'all can think about is getting back at the other crew like that's a waste of a trip that's so sad y'all y'all go out of town y'all go out of state out of the country and act a nigga fool Every single time. But OG is the only one that's the problem. All y'all show out. All y'all act a fool. But OG is the only one that's the problem. And then people still don't see colorism on the show. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> oh, 
exhausting. Exhausting. So, um, let me see. You know, Jackie, she caught up in the middle. You know, Jackie caught up in the middle. She don't know what to do. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You stop it. <laughs> Jackie is trying to get everybody together, but I see Jackie's game. Jackie knows that the other ladies ain't shit. She knows by now, or she should know, that the other ladies are not really her friends. They really got her, you know, just she's just the messenger pretty much. But anyway, she knows at this point who's really her team on her team and who's not. But Jackie's all about her check, which I don't kind of I don't really blame her. Jackie's about that coin. And Jackie know that the views and the money comes in when everybody gets together and argue and act a fool. So that's why she's on a mission to get all these hoes back together and talking again. Because, you know, that that's what makes the show. You know, it's a little boring. This side over here talking about the other side. This side over here talking about the other side and they never meet up. You know, so. I haven't checked the ratings or, or whatever. Or even know how to. Um, as far as with this show. But um, I'm sure last week's episode was probably the highest rated damn episode of this season so far. I'm sure. Um, cause unfortunately drama and, and controversy sales. Um, so I was just like, okay, Jack, I see you girl. Uh, let me see. So Shawnee, she sat down and had, had a conversation with Jackie. Now this pissed me off more than anything on this episode. Shawnee and her nostrils going to sit down with Jackie and have the nerve to tell Jackie that she don't want OG at the party because OG is too aggressive. And OG don't fit in with this crew. Maybe she'll fit in on the football field. That's where she belongs. Jackie was just like, um, Shawnee, are you serious? This is the last luncheon and you don't want OG to be a part of it. She was like, no, I don't want OG to be a part of it. Because I feel like um, the other ladies can uh, really sit down and, and have an adult conversation without OG being there. Have OG popped y'all upside the head yet? I know she been saying she gonna do it. But have she actually popped y'all upside the head yet? No. So what the hell is you so scared about? Yet you have somebody who's actually uh, who's actually put their hands on people on somebody multiple times. Your best friend Evelyn. But you ain't said nothing to her. And that's what Jackie said in her confessionals. I wish Jackie would have said that to Shawnee's face. I love Jackie. But Jackie played too much on that that um borderline shit they be getting on my nerves Jackie you really need to tell Shawnee what the hell it is sometimes like I know you all about them ratings for the betterment of the show which is the mess but you need to tell Shawnee um the true T how come OG's getting chastised but Evelyn's not and you've been on Evelyn way more way longer than OG you always knew Evelyn was trash but you know y'all really don't know much about OG the y'all just mad because OG is standing up for herself and she's standing up for CC. that is the craziest shit in the world but you you the, uh, you the executive producer though you, you, you miss unbiased sit down oh that pissed me off I was just like wow all these all these women is so scared of OG and she ain't even touched nobody yet ain't that something and they keep using that word aggressive. Aggressive. She's aggressive. She's aggressive. She's aggressive. Like y'all fucking white women. Oh Lord. Wow. You know, I, there was a point in time where I actually liked Shawnee. There really was. There was a point in time where I, I liked Shawnee. I respect Shawnee for what she's been able to done. For what she's been able to do. Um from you know uh, you know creating her own lane for herself but with that said if she was not Shaquille O'Neal's wife would she have been able to create this lane for herself had she not been getting up good child support checks would she be able to create her own business for herself it's still off the back of a man still so can we really respect you like that hmm. I mean get it how you live Capitalize how you want to capitalize. You did sit down and have all his ugly kids. Excuse me. Yeah. 
God is going to release that last statement from my mouth. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Evelyn, you know, she's trying to be cute. All the ladies are sitting down in their robes. Evelyn, she decides to bring up all the text messages from uh, from OG apparently to Chad. OG has allegedly been saying to Chad, you know, this is within a span of since 2013, however many years that is. Y'all know I, I'm, uh, you know, I was good at algebra. You know, I was good at geometry, not algebra. Uh, but math in general took me a while to get. It did. I was better at reading and, you know, language and, you know, the dramatics, you know, lunch, recess, all the fun things, you know. Um, so anyway, according to Evelyn, the text message is read from OG to Chad. Chatty Bear, Happy New Year, send me your number, are you in LA? Those kind of foolishes. And apparently Chad never responded back. He responded something back and said, are you going to get me in trouble with your man? And, um... You know, uh, you know, just kind of playing back and forth with her and all this other kind of stuff. And I'm just like, okay. I was just like, Lord, this is really just a junior high level at this point. Oh, but OG had some for her ass though, and Evelyn was shook. She was shooketh. She was shooketh. She was. And I'm just like, okay. There's no real, just because she printed out text messages, just because she had this, I mean, of course, if, if Chad was speaking, um, if, if, um, OG and Chad did, you know, if, let's say, let's say OG was trying to talk to Chad or whatever, he's never going to admit that he was trying to talk to her first. Of course. Well, of course he's going to make his side shine. Over hers, of course. It's it's a battle back and forth. Of course, he's not gonna say what he really said. Of course, and your dumb ass still sitting here believing it. And you sitting up here talking about, oh, don't say nothing about me or my ex husband. I thought you weren't talking to his ass. I thought you was over him, Evelyn. But you're still communicating with Chad for what? Ain't that the same nigga that gave you that Zorro Z across your head? Wasn't he that same one? And, and you have and you ain't got no kids by him or nothing. And you have the nerve to still sit and talk about somebody that has abused you. To still sit and talk to somebody that has abused you. That shows your mental state, sis. That shows your self-esteem, sis. Because all a motherfucker got to do for me is hit me one goddamn time. And he's dead to me. Forever. You're a clown. You're a clown. So, let me see. Do, 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 do. So, CC, Jackie, OG, they're sitting up in this, this hot springs pool jacuzzi. M pool moment, river moment. Listen, they look luxuriant and look like um, OG getting ready to shave her legs. I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. We don't want no um, leg hair up in the pool. We all got to share. But I don't know. This is what she was doing. They was just, they was luxuriating, darling. They was, they was li living la vida loca. And then Evelyn then went on a safari trip with birds and monkeys and, and lions and bears, all kind of stuff. And all them scared and running and hooping and hollering. Why did you go there? And you know it's going to be live animals there, you silly gooses. I was just like, Lord. So they were sitting over there chilling. Now, mind you, Jackie had just got back from the conversation with Shawnee. Jackie got in there. Jackie was just like, look, um, OG, she didn't beat around the bush too much, Jackie. She was just like, um, Shawnee don't want you there at the at the um, lunch. And, and, and OG went off. She was just like, when is Shawnee going to um, recommend... Um, reprimand her however you say that word y'all know I, I told you um, when when is Shawnee gonna get Evelyn when is Shawnee gonna get Evelyn when is why is she constantly coming from me but not gonna say anything to Evelyn and that is our issue bing go absolutely I completely 100% agree with 
um, OG on that, but you know, we we all hit the lottery by the time Shawnee Reed Evelyn. It, it's so sad. It really so sad. CC, you know, she got irritated. She said, um, Evelyn with her alien Yoda looking ass. I was like, ooh, CC. CC was turning me on a little bit. I was like, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. So, uh, the ladies, uh, Shawnee them, they end up talking to the instructor. And uh, this is when Evelyn brings up uh, that she getting ready to show the receipts to OG. Now, mind you, Shawnee, once again, Shawnee had just told Jackie that she did not want OG around the group. Yet, Shawnee said nothing to Evelyn about Evelyn going over there to where they at. So, you get ready to be with the group. You you tried to exclude OG, but Evelyn wanna see OG just to be messy. But you said nothing to Evelyn about it. But none of y'all wanna see OG. But y'all wanna see OG to start some shit. But any other time, y'all don't wanna be bothered with OG. Y you see why we don't like you, Shawnee. You see why we don't like you, Shawnee. You see? Do you see? Actually, in some ways, Shawnee's worse than Evelyn. And I think that Evelyn, she would not have the back. If, if, if Shawnee got off the show, if Shawnee was released from the show, if Shawnee somehow just left the show, somehow, either, you know, voluntarily or by force, if she left the show and it was actually just um, Evelyn and her crew, and Jackie and her crew. Let's see how let's see how bad um, Evelyn will be then without Shawnee approving every damn thing she do. Because that's why Shawnee act up because she know Ev Shawnee, the leader, ain't gonna say nothing to her. Let Shawnee get off the show. Let's see how hard Evelyn be. We already know she pussy. We already know she mad pussy. But let's see how uh, Sister um, Ev act. You know our favorite Afro Latina. If Shawnee was to leave. Uh huh. Let me see. So annoying. So the ladies meet up. Um, Evelyn, she started with OG. It was just like, okay, so what's up? Um, it's just like, oh, so you was talking to my ex? Evelyn said, uh, Sean, uh, OG said yes because you called me ugly, and I said Chad thinks I'm beautiful. She was just like, oh, okay, really, boo-boo, let me show you. Evelyn started reading out her tired-ass receipts. Shawnee and Kristen back there laughing. The, you know, the, the, oh, Lord. So, um, uh, OG, you know, she was just like, okay, those are cute receipts, but let me, um, show you the real receipts, and we've actually been talking since 2011. And, um, Evelyn was just like, so I was with, I didn't get married to him until 2012, but I was with, Oh, I was with uh, Ocho Cinco in 2011. So now they're trying to paint this whole thing like OG is a homewrecker. Child. And first of all, OG was not with Kwame. So she wasn't cheating on her own man. So stop that. This was way back in 2011 apparently when they met. OG was reading out all them text messages saying that. Hey baby, how you doing? I want you. You fine. I owed you. Yada to the yada. Which proves with your dumb self. And it's always women going against another woman. Which proves, Evelyn, with your sickening ass. With that Zorro Z. It proves that Chad Ochocinco was allegedly cheating on you before y'all went to the altar. And your dumb ass still married him. Use the clown. And OG and Chad did not sleep together. I'm sure, you know, it, it maybe could have led to that point. Apparently, uh, I'm assuming it could have led to that point. But OG said nothing about uh, Chad and, and her sleeping together. She said nothing like that. So what's the problem? Oh, you married a cheater? Oh. You didn't know? And he's an athlete? Yo, I'm not saying all athletes cheat, but why are you surprised when they do? They have access to women. It's the women outside stretched out on on the sidewalk with their legs wide open ready for these men Evelyn you used to be one of them so what's the problem karma's a bitch I wouldn't be surprised if she slept with Shaq why not I'm, I'm sure I don't know for sure but allegedly I'm sure Sha uh, Shaq has slept with hundreds of women uh, before during and after Shawnee 
So of course, it's a possibility that she, uh, Evelyn was on the list. How else she paid her bills? Well, I just be sitting here trying to act like Evelyn is some damn respectable woman, or Evelyn got some damn self-esteem about herself, or Evelyn is smart enough, or, or got the willpower, or think enough about herself to go to school and go to work and get a regular job. No. Just how they make their living, and that's fine. Love it. Oh, hell. I'm so sick of being negative in my damn checking account. I might throw my legs to the moon, too. Hell, I might hit up. Maybe me and Evelyn need to be friends. Our favorite Afro-Latina. I'm talking shit today. <laughs> They're so sickening on the show. They're so sickening. But hell, I mean, why are we shocked? Now, oh, Evelyn is, oh, she's a home wrecker. Oh, because she was, he was about to get married, Evelyn. Like, a child, please. That man was probably fucking all your bridesmaids. You didn't even know. Oh, silly ass. Or maybe you did know. You just didn't care. Because, you know, what else you gonna do? Get a job of your own? <sighs> oh, God. So then it got on the whole thing of OG saying that um, Evelyn is not black. Um... And you know the other ladies, Jackie. She had no comment. Malaysia. Let, let's not get on the race thing, Kristen. What does race have to do with anything? Phoebe. She's deflecting. So all y'all black ass hoes had nothing to say. All y'all black women had nothing to say to defend OG. You see, you see, you see how no and and Kristen is a dark skinned woman herself. But you know, it's the difference between uh, Kristen and 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 OG. It's the different difference between Kristen features and OG's features. That's the that's the problem. Uh huh. And also, Kristen is just an ass kisser and a follower. And Toto and and Shawnee and Evelyn is Dorothy. And you know, there you go. Come on, come on, girl. Come on, come on. A dog. A do She got the hair. She got the hair of a damn um, Labradoodle. Laquisha Malaysia you couldn't stand up for a sister with a name like Laquisha she probably couldn't get no job anyway but Laquisha Malaysia oh god y'all are disgusting and if nothing else y'all can't get on the fact that y'all can't make Evelyn stop saying nigga if nothing oh because she oh because she uh 15% African she can say nigga I'm 15% white would it be cool for me to go all around saying cracker 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 I don't know if I'm fifteen percent white or not, you know, but every black American, most of us have white in our blood because of slavery. But can we go around saying that we're black? Nope. But Folks like Evelyn can go around saying they um they black one day and then the next day they Puerto Rican and then the next day they Filipino and then the next day they white and you know okay so disappointed in y'all y'all are disgusting and and you know we are never gonna get anywhere as black people because we don't stick together we don't we don't and and we have such low self esteem about ourselves with that's why we try that's why we love to be friends with folks that look like Evelyn. You know, because they think that makes us look cool. That gets us in the end crowd because all the men are after them. You know, it's it's so deep. This shit runs so deep. That's why it just hits a chord, I feel like, with everybody. Because all this runs so deep, you know. But nobody wants to have those conversations because they're part of the problem. Uh let me see, let me see. You know, OG and and you know, honestly, Evelyn walked off. Evelyn had nothing to say to OG. Once OG said her her receipts, which seemed way more realistic, um, Evelyn she just walked off. And um, then Shawnee gonna say when OG got in the car, "Oh Jesus loves you, OG. Just remember that." So you couldn't say that when she was outside the car, Evelyn or uh, Shawnee, like damn near at your face. You couldn't say that. But you waited till she got in the car. All y'all bitches are so scared. OG, you should pat yourself on the back. Because all these bitches are your sons. You hear me? Come on, black woman. 
You should pat yourself on the back. Because you got nine bitches that's all scared of you. Nine. They all scared of you. And if y'all know anything about me, I don't even like using that word bitches like that. Holes and all. I don't like demeaning or putting down women or anything at all. But these girls deserve it. They deserve all of this. Okay? Shit, y'all should see what they say on Twitter. <laughs> they say way worse than I do. I tell you. They deserve it. They, they deserve everything. They do. Because they're terrible. They really, a lot of them really need to look inside themselves. They really do. I was just say, Shawnee, you're such a punk. Miss Inglewood. Punk. So, um, the ladies get back to their quarters. Of course, Shawnee them is still, um, you know, talking about the whole OG them, OG them thing. Um, and they actually invited Jackie and Jackie only to go eat with them. Jackie sent, um, she uh, got on the phone call and called Shawnee and said, um, I, <laughs> I want to send all of y'all my love, <laughs> but I can't make it. <laughs> I screamed. And the lady was just like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, you know, Jackie, she's drawing her line in the sand on what side she's on and all this kind of shit. Malaysia, I thought you didn't want to see Jackie anyway. I thought y'all were beefing. Oh, but but if if Shawnee and Evelyn approves Jackie coming, you cool with it too? Laquisha Malaysia, you are such a disappointment, Laquisha. Laquisha, Laquisha Malaysia, you are such a disappointment. Laquisha Malaysia, I would never, I never thought that that Laquisha Malaysia, I never thought that you would you would be such a disappointment. I thought you was one of the realest ones. You you was the fan favorite for a long time, Laquisha Malaysia. But look at you, Laquisha Malaysia, Star Keisha Malaysia, Mar Keisha Malaysia, Ka Keisha Malaysia, Za Keisha Malaysia. You're such a dis nah Keisha Malaysia. You're such a disappointment. Follower, a follower. Sitting up there with that name and just as black as you is and could not defend OG at least on this one damn thing. Wow. Wow. Oh, let me see. OG, she's talking to Jackie and Cece. She said, OG said that she still got damn receipts. She didn't even read the real damn receipts from Chad. See, really what it is also is that Evelyn couldn't believe. Evelyn don't think that Chad would ever be attracted to somebody that looks like OG. That's low key what it is, really. Uh huh. That that's what it is. Because she thinks she's better. Because she's high yellow and and mixed up and and everything else, you know. Because the world tells her that that uh, people that look like her are, are beautiful. And the world tells people that uh, that look like OG are not beautiful. That's really what it is. Are we gonna talk? Or are we gonna talk? I tell you, this this stuff runs deep. It runs deep, and uh, and it st- none of it really is our fault. As as far as you know, black people or indigenous people, like a Evelyn, whatever. It's really not our fault. It all stemmed from slavery. It really did, because we was dropped off all over. You know. Um, the slaves were dropped off all over, over in the islands and over here every day I'm well. So it's really not our fault. But it is our fault that we can't, that we know better. And, and, and especially with this generation, it's 2019, we know better. We know what, 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 what is. And we still continue and go through those same old tired ass um, uh, uh, rules of, of what the standard of beauty is. And, and you know, um, Who's 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 popular? Who's who's not? And, and all this other kind of shit. You know, it's time for us to demolish all that. But it's so embedded in our history. It's so embedded in our minds, and it's generations from generations to generations. It's been passed on so much. I don't know if we can come back from that. I really don't. I really don't. Slavery really did a number on all of us. It really did. But fuck you, Evelyn. So anyway, I'm feeling sorry for you, ho. Let me see. Uh, it ended with OG and, and CC getting down and, and praying that um 
Evelyn closed her legs to married men, <laughs> like Nene told Kim. Um, so that that was that was it, and the reunion is next week, y'all. <sighs> this reunion gonna be something else. Oh, y'all, this reunion is gonna be something else. It really is. If I have the time, I might dress up, put on a little makeup for y'all, get a little spiffy and shit. I might. But it depends. I'll be so heated, I don't even feel like it. Because I know I'm going to sweat it off. So why put it on? <laughs> Thank y'all for watching this review. And, and I'm assuming it's going to be at least a two-parter uh, reunion. But we're going to see. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Is Kings World on Instagram and Twitter. At Is Kings World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook, Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Also, let me give a shout out to my girl Taiwan Carr. It was her birthday recently. I love you so much. And anybody else who's had a birthday recently, like myself, like my girl Rita, there was a couple of other y'all, a couple of other uh, folks um, in the comment section that said that y'all had birthdays. Um, I love you all. I'm going to comment back to you guys. Comments um, when I get the time. I am. It's like hundreds of comments now. So thank you. But um, yeah, shout out to my girl Taiwan Carr. And um, I will see you guys later. Let me find her Twitter real quick. Um, let me see. Okay, this is her Twitter. The Taiwan. Right there at the top. She actually does um, YouTube videos as well, so subscribe to her channel. Okay, y'all. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! I'm mad. What I'm smiling for?